what's going on YouTube? My name is David Caparino. Welcome to my channel. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If it's nice, big, and red, that means you did something wrong. Go ahead, click that. Make sure it's grayed out and it says subscribed. For those of you that are already subscribed, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to actually get mail while in the military. So depending on where you're at and your sort of housing situation, uh, mail is going to be a little bit different from here to there. I actually just got some stuff in the mail today that I'm very excited about. And this is a very obnoxious envelope for such a small item. So here we go, I got two things. Let me open these up real quick. So in this big obnoxious envelope, I got some new wrist wraps because for some reason, I went to the gym the other day and when I was coming back, I was looking for my other wrist wrap. It goes around your wrist, it Velcros, and it has a strap there so you can get some extra grip. And I only have one hand or one item. So I was kind of upset because I really like those wraps. So I bought some new ones, but I couldn't find the exact same ones that I had before. So I just bought these ones. The part that lays in your hand like this, this actually has some extra grip there. I like the ones that conform to your wrist and have the extra slack right here. This item right here, I'm exceptionally excited for. So here I have my gaming mouse. Now I was so against getting one with the buttons on the side because I find that to be super goofy. Here we go. I don't know if this is a known brand, Utex Smart. How did I get these? I'm, I'm in the dorm. If you haven't been watching my videos and you don't know, what happened? How did I get mail? Well, here's what happens. When you order stuff, it goes to the base. When you put in your address, you're going to put for city, it's, so for me, it's Eglin Air Force Base. So I put that as the city, I put the zip code in there, and you will get an address for where your dorm is. So there's something set up for whatever system, however it works, it just blows my mind how all these different pieces are always moving, but somehow they're, the end always happens the same way. Let me explain, because that sounded weird as I was saying it. So I bought something, Amazon knows, hey, it's going to this address. So Amazon ships it, and it somehow along the line goes from the normal civilian carriers, and it makes it here. So somehow they have some agreement, they get the items on base, okay? Because obviously there's gotta be a whole nother security measure that goes on there, because they just don't take any packages at the base. So once they get them, the USPS, and yes, there is one on base. I don't know if it's every base, but at least for where I'm at, the USPS on base goes and sorts that mail out. So they have their own sorting procedures. And because I did this, I put building and the room number. I don't know what would happen if you didn't put that on there. So that's why like some of these people, they may hold their packages or maybe they track down the people in a system somewhere to find their name and then they figure out where they live from that but i always put my building and room number on there so that's how i know my stuff gets delivered to my building to me personally so that's how it works in the dorms now specifically for these packages if it doesn't fit in your mailbox and yes i have a mailbox too which i get normal mail but if it doesn't fit in the mailbox the usps has i think it's called an mou or an moa it's a memorandum of understanding or a memorandum of agreement but they don't leave your packages outside of your door but they have this agreement that they don't leave packages out so they leave a notice on your door or if you have a room that's kind enough i'll actually take it off the door so the wind doesn't blow it off or whatever so i see that notice i take that notice i go over to the usps on base and i show them like hey i missed my package here you go uh i have ordered so much stuff from amazon the guy at usps i realized today actually knows me by name and face he goes oh caparino and then he just has my package out miraculously that's how it works in the dorms whether it's ups there's also ups on base or usps that's the kind of method for how it works if the item is small enough like my razors that i purchased which you can get by clicking the link in the description below for my dollar shape club razors those actually go in my mailbox because they come in just a small package because all i get is just the razors so they can fit that in my mailbox now what if you're at tech school now at tech school i kind of mentioned it before but there's going to be one centralized hub where all the mail comes in every time after class where the bus drops you off at and again i'm just speaking in my experience i don't know if this was universal throughout all the bases, there will be a rope with you. So again, I'll talk about ropes in another video, but it's basically how the dorm chief is for BMT. The rope is like that for your class. So like for the EM class, there's going to be several different classes where there will be at least one rope who will basically manage all of those people. So you guys get on a bus, you go back to your dorms, and then the rope goes and calls out mail. So calls out all these people's names and they do like an end of day checklist thing for class and whatnot, or like people. And then they talk to the MTL about like accountability and stuff like that. I don't, they do a whole nother thing. I wasn't a rope. I did not want that responsibility. I'm glad I didn't, but it is a good thing to do. Now, what if whenever you're in the operational air force, like I am, but I'm at a dorm, what if you live in your own house? Let's say you made senior airmen or you're married, you come in and you are given the opportunity right away to go and live in your own house or apartment or whatever, it doesn't matter. It works 
just as it would normally before you enlisted, okay? So just because that the military is paying for your house or helping you pay for whatever kind of housing arrangements doesn't mean mail works in a different way. Again, that is assuming you are off base. There is on-base housing. It's going to work the same way I mentioned with the dorms. I hope this video helped. Hope it cleared up some things. It seems pretty straightforward and simple, but there are a lot of things where it's like, you don't really think about it until you're actually doing it. And I know I thought about that too, where I got my address and I'm like, I mean, I put building and room number on there and I was like, but what if I'm not home? Like normally when they just distribute mail like because of Amazon and that's just how Amazon works I actually got a text message and an email now that I think about it about my package attempt was delivered but failed so then they brought it back to the USPS and some other things I want to cover because I just don't want to mention it in one video in case not everyone watches the first video but I'm going to be interviewing Kyle Gott so if you don't know who he is he is the person who I kind of looked up to in a way as far as YouTube goes and the military and the Air Force goes I was watching him for years uh, and quite some time before I even enlisted so I found him to be a huge inspiration and help when I was going through and so I am going to be interviewing him asking him all sorts of questions if you have anything you want to ask him go ahead leave it in the comment section down below also super exciting news I was told today to basically hurry up and move out so in another video I already said I've gotten the approval to move out this is even more real so I talked to dorm management today and they were like I can get you out processed as early as this week and get you out of the dorms by next week holy crap like I was looking at houses I have a bunch of my favorite but now it's like so real it's like oh hey next week you could potentially be out he's like yeah you should probably start packing and I was like what I don't have like I'm still buying stuff for my room like I have to pack this stuff up now like in a week uh, my classes are done so I'm waiting for those grades to come in crossing my fingers those are also two A's uh, my GPA is a 3.94 not that this matters to anyone but again this vlog is more so about me and documenting my life so this is why I'm sharing it I have a GPA of 3.94 I told myself I wanted to apply myself and do something bigger and better and actually try this time around with school because before it was like hey what's the minimum Ugh, take it and get me out of here i wanted to prove to myself that this is something i can do and so far like it's just such an awesome feeling to see that i'm putting in all this work and i'm getting all this good out of it i'm taking one class now it's hls which is homeland security 210 and i forgot what the name of the class is but it's basically like a higher intro to homeland security but in any case thank you guys for watching thank you for your time i truly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.